Pet and branding specialist working for the University of she's been working with the University of Houston SBDC since 2015 teaching social media and digital marketing. She's a professor professor of English at Wharton County Junior College in Sugarland and received her education specialist degree from Walden University attended Sam Houston State University and the University of Houston. She is a professional photographer with her husband and she specializes in branding, headshots, lifestyle and real estate photography. Welcome, Marcia. Thank you so much. I am so excited to be here today and I hope that everybody who's joining us, I hope you are ready to get so much information. So I am going to share my content and we are going to get started. Okay. Put standby here. Okay, so today uh, we are going to be talking about a subject that sometimes we have such a hard time trying to grasp, and that is Facebook. So we're going to talk about today getting started with Facebook, how to jumpstart your strategy once and for all, because I know for me, we will start and then Facebook will make a change and then we have to learn something new. So we want to jumpstart our strategy once and and for all. So I want to give a special thanks to the North Texas, uh, North Central Texas Small Business Development Center. And I want to thank them for having me today to bring this awesome um, training to you. And we always know that the Small Business Development Center is there for you as business owners to help you uh, with your own business goals. So be sure and check out the North Central Texas Small Business Development Center. So once once again, thank you all for having me. So the secret to change, and we have definitely had to make changes in this climate. The secret to change is to focus all of your energy, not on, not on fighting the old, but building the new. And I'm actually making a new series called um, Out with the Old, In with the New. And when I say that, it's because it's just a new way of doing business now. We, we have to pivot. Uh, even me as a business owner, like Miss McCain was saying, I used to go and teach face-to-face -to, -face, um, to companies, to individuals. I would meet face-to-face. -face. Well, I had to pivot and focus on how do I change all of that to, you know, for this new climate. So that's something that Facebook is actually doing, and that's what we want to, to talk about today. So a little bit about me. I am Marsha Lynn Hudson, and I love everything dealing with social media and branding strategies. And so in 2015, uh, I'm a photographer. I started my business in 2000. And in 2015, uh, things started slowing down because my business was, I was a wedding photographer, and I've been shooting weddings over 20 years. And I was like, okay, I think I'm going to slow down with the weddings and and change direction but even anyway in 2015 um things started slowing down for photographers anyway but and what happened was the social media and i thought wow i better you know get knowledgeable on social media so i started training photographers in my studio on social media and it just kind of blew up from there and I went on and got trained in social media and just other things just started happening. So that's how I got into being a social media and branding strategist. I am a writing professor here at Warren County Junior College in Houston, and I've been there since 2000. Um, I'm a professional photographer, and we now help a lot of business owners with branding and headshots and things like that. I am a solutions provider for Constant Contact because I firmly believe in email marketing and in my spare time and people say do you have spare time <laughs> yes 
I really enjoy walking, reading. I really love learning because that's how we grow. And I love being outside in nature. And that's my website there, MarshallLynnHudson.com. So what will you learn today? You're going to learn so much today. Well, one thing we're going to talk about, how to get started with Facebook. If you've been on Facebook or you set up Facebook, but you hadn't been that active for 2021, things have really changed between um, this new year um so we're also going to talk about the changes in facebook for business owners what to do on facebook and what not to do now there are rules if you want facebook to show your content there are certain things that you do not want to do on facebook anymore for them to show your content and to keep your account active how to engage the right way in other words what kind of content to put to engage and um and lastly We'll talk about um, the features of Facebook because you definitely want to use um, the features. Okay, so the question is, what if you could grow your business? Uh, what if you could grow your business if you were active on Facebook three days a week? Would you be interested? Well, you actually can. You can grow your business on Facebook three days a week and people say oh i don't have time to be on social media every day so you don't have to be on social media every day three days a week will grow your business so are you ready to grow so let's dive in i hope you have a pen and paper and you're ready to take some great notes feel free to uh, take screenshots turn off your distractions if you're like me sometimes i'm watching a webinar and i'm on my my cell phone and i'm you know multitasking but you're going to learn so much to walk away with today from um, this training so hopefully you are ready to to grow so stay to the end because of course we have q a i want you to save your questions write them down and we will answer your questions at the end but i'm also going to tell you how to get your free workbook and planner today so if you stay to the end you will get information on that so what is um what is facebook and we know it's a social media platform, but it's so much more. And it is a place where you can actually build community because when you build community, you actually open the door for more customers. Facebook allows you to create profiles and upload photos and videos, and it allows you to network through Facebook groups, which we will talk about that a little uh, later in the training. Now, Facebook has so many people on the platform. 2.7 billion people are on this platform. Now, if you want to be found, you may not want to be found by 2.7 billion people, but you have a number, and I know I have a number of how many clients I want every month for my business. And so I'm sure you have a number of how many clients you need every month for your business. So if you want to be found with your um, ideal client, Facebook is a place to be active. So what if you walk away today saying, wow, I didn't know that. Uh, but I'm glad I know it now. So if you stay through the uh, training, you will be saying, wow, I didn't know that, but I'm glad I know it now. So don't forget Q&A is at the end. Write down your questions and save them for us. So here's some top reasons for business owners to be on Facebook. And I keep saying the new Facebook because they have made so many changes from years past. So if you haven't been on a Facebook for 2021 or you haven't updated your profile, you might want to consider that because there's so many changes uh, if you make them for Facebook to give you more visibility. So here's some reasons to be on Facebook. Well, people spend a lot of time on Facebook. Uh, like Google, Facebook is just too huge to ignore because it's just serving billions and all ages and gender. It used to be there were certain uh, types of people on Facebook or a certain age of people on Facebook. Well, not now. Uh, it's, it's serving all ages and all genders from 18 into 60s and 70s. So it's a great place to be. 
the targeting is amazing. You can actually target your ideal client. Um, I've been in business a long time as a photographer since getting out of school since 2000. And I remember I used to send out postcards and flyers and mail them. Well, I didn't know where they were going. I just mailed them and sent them out. Well, not now with Facebook uh, advertising, you can target your client. You can say, Facebook, send this to this uh group or send this to this age group of these people who live in this region. So it's wonderful. You can actually brand your business with their features. And we are going to talk about all of the features later and you can drive traffic to your website, which is a huge benefit. Facebook can drive traffic to your website because we know that your website is what turns prospects into customers. So how do we get started with what I call this the new Facebook? Well, you have to create a, a profile or update your profile. Now the profile, everybody has to have a profile on Facebook. And this is what most people call their family and friends page. Well, Facebook calls it a profile. And we might, you know, upload an image of yourself, you know, put a little information and then you have friends they can like and come in. And then when you post, you may post about, you know, a birthday or a special anniversary or things that you're doing for friends and family to see. And everyone has to have uh, a profile on Facebook before they can create what we call a page. So once you create your profile, you just go to facebook.com, you, you, you know, you create your profile. And then from your profile, there's a drop down where it says create a page. Now a page is for a business and you can create as many pages as you want. Like I have a photography page. I have a social media page. I even have a headshot page. So you can create as many pages or business pages that you want from your profile, but it's all created from your profile. So whenever you go to sign in to post or whatever, you have to sign in through your profile. So now you have what we call a business page. So let's say you have two businesses. You may want two pages that you create from your profile. And um, so I want you to know the difference between the profile and the page. So today I'm only going to be talking about the business side of Facebook. And some people say, well, can my family and friends be in the business page? Well, of course you can invite them there um, if you like, but most of the time family and friends are a different audience from our uh, prospective clients. So yes, you can invite them if you like. Now, when you create a business page, which has changed now in uh, Facebook, people can go and uh, like the page. So it's no longer a fan, it's a like, and then now they're following your page. So first things first, you want to definitely do your updates. So after the training today, if you have some time, pull up your Facebook uh, profile and head to your business page and do some updating because things have changed and Facebook likes updates. And the biggest thing I want for you is I want to help you uh, maximize your visibility on Facebook because the visibility has gone down so much and organic posts, which are free posts have gone down to like 5%. We have to figure out how can we be visible even though Facebook um, is limiting the reach. And so one way to be visible is to do your updates. And when I say do your updates, you may change your banner. Your banner is your advertising on your, your business page on Facebook. And your banner can have an image or it can have the your uh, website um, .com on the banner. It can have a slogan on the banner. So just think about your banner on Facebook as being advertising. So you don't just want a picture. Why not use it for other things? Put your slogan. Put your website on your banner. Put, you know, put um in a number if if you have people caught on your banner. It's your advertisement. So if you haven't done that, you want to update that. And sometimes people say, well, how can I get a nice banner? Well, Fiverr can make you a banner. And I use Fiverr quite a bit. It is F-I-B-E-R-R. -R. Fiverr can make you a nice Facebook banner for just $10. You just tell them what you want on it, what colors you want. You send them the picture, the words, and they can make you a nice Facebook banner in like a day. And then you want to update um, any 
um, of your your summary, if you've changed anything, which I'm sure you have in our new climate, if you want to update your about section, um, I always like the button learn more instead of buy now. Because when people go to your Facebook page, they don't know you. They may be a cold audience and rarely will a cold audience buy now. But they will click the learn more button to learn more about your company. And once they learn more, then they can become a buy now client. So I like the learn more button. And when people click that button, it goes to your website. So that's why I said Facebook can drive people to your website. And then you have your send message. People can send you a message. So if you haven't gone to your uh, business page lately and you haven't done any updates, do some updates because Facebook will give you more visibility there. So here are three top changes that Facebook made for 2021. They made them in at the end of December. Number one, brands who haven't been on Facebook for long will be ranked lower. So if you haven't been active and you haven't been doing much on Facebook, you haven't made your update, you're going to be ranked lower. And what I mean by rank lower, they're not going to let anybody hardly see your post. You may see three people liked it or five people. So they're ranking you lower. So you want to get active. The second change that they made is if you already have low reach, that will be lowered. So if you've been having low reach and you're not active, that's going to even go down. It may be zero or two. And the third change is organic, which are your free posts that will see lower reach. So you may be thinking, wow, well, why be on it? <laughs> what the good news is if you start being active, if you make your changes, if you start uh, engaging, well, then that's going to be the opposite for you. You're going to be ranked higher. You'll, they'll let more people see and you'll get more reach. So that's the good news. So how will your change page be ranked for visibility? So the thing about it is we want more people to find us. We want more people to see us. So the length of time that you've been active on Facebook, and if you're saying, well, I haven't been active, don't worry, start now. Because if you start being active week after week, then you're going to get more visibility. That's how it works. Percentage of followers who engage with your post. Now, if you are posting and people are liking and commenting, you're going to get more visibility. How active you and your followers are. Like I said, if you're active three days a week, you don't have to be on Facebook five, six days a week. It's about quality. If you're active and your followers are, so if you're on three days a week, you're posting, you're active, your followers seeing you, you're going to get more visibility. And the biggest thing is if you're posting good content, you don't want to be a salesperson and overly promote, always promoting your products and services on Facebook. That's going to lower your visibility. That's one of the changes. Um, and Facebook wants you to buy ads for that. So you don't want to go on and just promote your product or promote your service on your three days or, you know, talk about your product. You don't want to do that because you won't get the visibility. But there's a way to do that in a roundabout way where you're not actually being a salesperson. So what do you want to avoid on Facebook? So this is really important. You can take a screenshot with your phone if you like. Uh, boosting a post is not profitable. And I have people say, well, I boost a post. I pay $10 and I boosted a post. It's really not profitable. If you're going to pay $10, save it for Facebook ads. And I think I am giving a webinar on Facebook ads. Save that money because doing a Facebook ad, even at $5 a day, is more profitable than boosting a post. Don't sell or overly promote, like I said. Um, Facebook doesn't like it and they won't let people see if you're just selling and overly promoting. Don't add links to articles to send people off the platform. Facebook wants people to stay on the platform, okay? It used to be we can put an article, you click and you go off and read the article. Facebook doesn't like that. These are some new changes. They want you to stay on the platform. That's why they're making so many features so that you can upload videos, everything where people watch them and stay on the platform. And which leads me to my next point. Don't add video links that send people. We used to add YouTube links and we would click the YouTube link and then people would go to your YouTube and watch your video. Well, you don't want to do that. You want to actually put the video 
on the platform. So don't add video links that send people off the platform. In, in other words, Facebook likes for people to stay on the platform. So if you have a great article, put some tips from the article on the platform. If you have a video, put it in the in the uh, platform so that people will stay stay on the page longer. Now, when people stay on your Facebook page longer, whether they're reading or watching a video and even scrolling with their thumb, that's that's uh, activity. Facebook, the algorithms, which are the machine says, OK, we're going to let more people see. OK, so these are some things that used to be OK, but not now. OK, so those are some things you want to avoid. So how do you use Facebook to grow your business, even though Facebook has cut down the reach? Not as many people see they got these do's and don'ts. It's still a great platform if you use it correctly uh, for growing your business. OK, so now is the time, OK, because Facebook, they're steadily adding um, they're adding just features and they're adding so many, um, just so many great things. So it's a great time to be on Facebook. So you want to actually be active. And like I say, when I say active, you're posting, you know, three days a week, you're uh, liking and commenting on your followers page, you're active. The algorithms see that you're set, you're showing up and you're active. You want to create good content. And we'll talk about that a little later in the training. Be consistent. That's so important. You don't want to be on one week and not show up the next week or be on one week and, you know, show up once. That's not good. The algorithms will push you back down. You want to use visuals like images that you find maybe from stock images or uh, copyright free images, even images that you take with your phone. So you definitely want to put images on your Facebook posts. And we will talk about that also along with using the features. OK, so it's a great time to be on Facebook. So what should you do? OK, so the first thing, like we talked about a little summary, you want to update your Facebook business page and you can take a screenshot if you like, because this will be your homework. You know, I'm a teacher <laughs> and I, I like homework, but you want to definitely update your Facebook business page. You want to revamp your bio, your summary, your descriptions, go through there and see if you need to change any wording, add some keywords, things like that. Um, you want to include a link to your website. That's huge. The learn more button, they can click it and go to your website because that's actually where you get your businesses from your website. And then you want to get active at least three days a week. And we're going to talk about the best days to show up on, on Facebook. So here is a sample page here of, of, the, of a business page. And these are some things that you want to go in and do on your business page. You want to add a picture, which it could be your logo in the corner, in the left corner. Your, your banner is your long cover, like I talked about. You want to get that designed with an image, with a website, uh, .com on the banner, a slogan on your banner. Okay, make your banner real estate, make it work for you. Um, then you want to add a button you could you can add several buttons now but i do like to learn more they click go to the website i like that over the buy now button but you can decide what's best for you then you have a welcome page you add a cover photo you you um you add a description just things like that you can even change uh, your username if you need to for the new year so that's a sample of getting in there and getting that business page going so this is how it will look on a phone and a computer. You want to make sure it looks good on a mobile also. So another thing that I like about Fiverr, because I use them quite a bit uh, to help me out, even though I'm a photographer, I use Photoshop. I can't do it all myself. So I'll use them to design a LinkedIn banner for me, a design a Facebook banner, but I'll make sure it looks good on the phone also because it can look different. So you want to make sure when they're designing it, it, you pull up your phone and see how it looks also. So, and make sure it looks good like it does on your computer. So what type of content should you post on Facebook? Now, this is really good right here. So if I've lost you or you're, you're, you're leaving, you're playing on your phone, then come back with me now. So these are some um, tried and true things to 
to post on Facebook, according to the research. So now we really want to stay in this storytelling mode um, in this day and age. So the first one is behind the scenes, PT is behind the scenes. So you can post uh, something like your morning routine. That's a behind the scenes from you as a business owner. You can post maybe for me, I make a lot of videos, YouTube videos. I do podcast. Sometime I'll set up um, my video, uh, my camera on my tripod set up my backdrop and take a picture and show this is behind the scenes of me getting ready to make a video um i do quite a bit of research and reading and i may be out and about um like uh, at a little cafe like madeline or starbucks i love sitting outside reading and writing and then i may have my coffee my book my pen and i may just take a picture of it that's a behind the scenes of me as a social media person preparing so that's that's a behind the scenes shot. People love them. You'll get really good engagement with it. Trending topics, whatever industry you're in, you can post some trending topics. Like right now, real estate is booming. I mean, it's a buyer's market, seller's market, interest rates. If you're in real estate, you can post about some trending topics. Let's say you're in the fitness business. Or you know, or you have a studio with yoga and and things that's relaxing and what which is what we need for now. You can post about trending topics for that. Let's say you're a consultant in in your business and you can talk about topics um, that would help your audience. So those are great for posting for Facebook. Storytelling is huge, huge, and so I like this book by Donald Miller. And uh, it's called Building a Story Brand. And Donald Miller is a great story brand author. And I, I highly recommend that book. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get any money for it. I just think it's great for us as business owners. And it's called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. And he talks about how you can build a brand through storytelling. And it really does work. Facebook, um, Apple does it. I mean, you don't really see them saying buy a phone. It's this is a lifestyle and Apple does a great job of storytelling. Starbucks does it. They do, they do a great job of storytelling and they may talk about how they're making a, a, a drink for spring. And so for us, we could just talk about our wins in our business, our losses, our struggles, why we love our business, our passion. It's just storytelling. And I told a client the other day, I said, when I was doing a one-on-one, -on -one, and teaching this same thing about content i say you know people love stories stories think about it why do people like movies why do people like television shows they're all stories that's what they are they're stories and people love them and it's the same for social media so when you share a, a story like uh, something for for you as a business on in a manner as if you're just talking to a friend People really resonate with it. They connect with it. For example, I may put a storytelling post. I always put storytelling posts and I let people into my world. And I did a post and I said, sometimes we lose creativity or sometimes I lose creativity. Sometimes I'm, I lose my motivation. But I realize as a business owner, I have to keep going. So I do this, this and this. And that is storytelling. It's just telling the truth and people like the fact that you're showing the human side of you as a business owner. Tips and tutorials are great for Facebook where you're teaching something. Maybe you give three ways to do something or five reasons why you should do this. So people really like good content and Facebook does too. The algorithms will push you up if you're doing these kind of things. Ask questions. You can do Q and A's on Facebook. Um, put videos with your phone. You can make a video, a two to three minute video with your phone, upload it to Facebook. It gets a lot of engagement. So these are six ideas for content. And if you're posting two to three days a week, pick two or three. You may say, okay, I'm going to post on Wednesday. I'm gonna do tips. Or you might say, okay, on Friday, I'm going to do a Q&A day. Friday will be Q&A where I uh, answer a question that people in your uh, audience have asked you. Or you may say, oh, I'm going to pick up my phone and do a live two to three minute video and up upload it uh, and tell my business why or something like that. So these are all 
all you really need. These categories are all you really need to get your ideas for all of your content, even beyond Facebook. You can do this for LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, all of them. So these are some categories for that. So encourage engagement, okay? You want to avoid clickbait, all right? And on the next slide, I'm gonna tell you what is clickbait but you want to encourage engagement. And through uh, putting that type of content out there, it encourages engagement. So what is clickbait? So you don't want to say this when you're typing your content in Facebook. You don't want to ask people to share. Share this, this. you don't want to do that anymore in Facebook. That's another thing. You don't want to ask them to comment. Please comment on this. You don't want to do that's clickbait. Um, you don't want to ask them to visit your site. Visit my site. But if you do a video, you can say that. You just don't want to write those words in the content area, okay? You want to create content that will make them want to share without having to ask. You want to create content that will make them comment without having to ask. And you want to create content that eventually makes them interested and curious to go visit your site without having to ask. So you want to avoid clickbait. When you use clickbait, when you actually write it in, the algorithm see that and decreases your visibility. So how do you win with the algorithm on Facebook? And when I say the algorithm, that those are the machines that run Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of them, LinkedIn. Those are the machines that are running behind the scenes that's picking and choosing who sees what and how, how much they will see and things like that. So you really have to work with the algorithms to be seen. So this is how you win with the algorithm. Post at the optimal times, and we're going to talk about the best times to post because you get more visibility when you post at the best times. Of course, people are on all day at Facebook, but there are some times that you will get more visibility. Post consistently. I cannot stress that enough. Three days a week is enough, but be consistent with those three days. Post valuable content from those categories that I just showed you. Add an image or a video to your post. So if you add an image, you can get an image from a stock photo. You can get an image from a copyright-free uh, uh, site. And the one that I like is Unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H. You, you can get copyright images there. They're great. And you can use them uh, with your post. Uh, if you do a video, a two to three minute video, you can put that up instead of an image with your content but these are ways to win with the algorithm and you want to add at this time because facebook changes quite a bit one to two hashtags now for, for instagram yeah you can add up to 30 hashtag for linkedin you can add up to seven or eight but right now you don't want to add more than one or two because facebook will um, dock you at this time because they're not really that much into the hashtag but one to two will be fine like you can make a hashtag with your business name like i have one hashtag Marshall and Hudson and then you can use a second hashtag that deals with something from your industry okay so that's what you want to put and this is how you will win with the algorithm so here are the best times to post on social media according to the research right now Wednesdays through Sundays are really good times to post but you can see when you're getting your best visibility Maybe you post on Mondays and you're like, wow, I get a lot of um, engagement. Well, then continue to post on Monday. But Wednesday through Sunday, for me, I mainly post five days a week. I give myself a break on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I may post on a Saturday sometimes if I'm out and about, just something fun. But mainly I do during the week. Wednesday is the best day, according to research, to post on Facebook, whether you're doing a content post, a video, 1 to 3, uh, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So you got your morning time and you have your afternoon time. Now, according to, to uh, research, Tuesday is the worst day. But you want to kind of play around with it. For me, I post Monday through Friday. I do get good uh, visibility and engagement, I notice, on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I've noticed that, even though I post five 
days a week. So check your insights because you can check your insights to see um, how well your posts are doing on certain days. So if you pick three days to post, this, this is my suggestion. Uh, Wednesday, um, I like Monday. And so you can check it out. I like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Or Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, you know, you can see what works well for you. And some people say Saturdays work well for them. So you may throw Saturday in there. So an engagement ending. So when you're posting and you're trying to get engagement and at the end of your your content you can ask a question so let's say you make a post and you put put a few tips in your post and you might ask a question well which tip do you find helpful so you can ask a question and so you can also say well let me know in the con comments you don't want to say share contents okay but you can say let me know in the comments what you think or you can put this at the end of your post. Let's do this together. Sometimes I put a motivational saying and I might say, let's move forward for this month. And then at the end of the post, I might say, are you in? Let's let's do this together. Engagement endings cause people to, to write something. And that's an engagement ending. So at the end of your post, you can put a phrase or a quote, but just don't end with clickbait. Okay, don't say share this with clickbait. So you can do these things to actually get people to comment or write something or say, I like this or whatever. So every good post, whenever you post to uh, your social media, Facebook or wherever, will have these three, okay? An image or video, valuable content, and engagement ending. And then I'm going to throw in another one. And hashtag. You don't have to have hashtag, but if you want to, one or two. So just remember, every time you go to post to Facebook, you want to have an image or a video because that helps with the algorithm valuable content from the one of those six categories and an engagement ending and of course you can put two hashtags if you like so just remember that auto schedule so let's talk about auto schedule for a minute so if you're on facebook and instagram and you know facebook owns instagram um you can auto schedule and so let's say you you are not available to actually sit down at one p.m. and post because that's a good time one to one thirty let's say you're not available and let's say you know you want those days well you can use what we call facebook creator studio you can google it facebook creator studio it's a scheduling tool and it's free and so once you go to facebook creator studio you can schedule your facebook post with those same things i talked about you can um go in pull it up and add a picture Add your content, your tips, or whatever you're behind the scene. Add your hashtags, um, add your engagement ending, and then tell the tool when to send it. So let's say it's a Monday night and it's 9.30 p.m. and you're done with your day and you you want to schedule because you know, um, or it's Tuesday, you know, Wednesday, you're not going to be able to sit down at that time. So you can put your post there and schedule it and tell the uh, this tool, send this out Wednesday at 10 a.m., even though you did it Monday night at 930. So you can do that with Facebook and Instagram, and it's free. And so you can pull up your Facebook page, put your picture, put your post, schedule it. Then you can go to your Instagram in this tool, pull up your picture, put your uh, content, schedule it. So it's great for when you're too busy or you know you're not going to be able to post at your optimal time to schedule. So in your free time, check out on Google Facebook Creator Studio. And here is a sample of Facebook Creator Studio where you can just post and it will show this was scheduled this time. You can schedule it to go out this this day and this time. So it's it's great. And it has your image. And you can even uh, schedule now a video to, um, you know, be scheduled at a later time. And I was asked, how far out, Marcia, can we schedule it? Well, you can schedule it pretty far out. And I think it's even a month or so, or maybe even uh, longer than that. So you want to use Facebook 
features, okay? And so we're gonna talk about four features here on the next few slides. So you can build your following with Facebook features. So marketing with Facebook um, can be uh, very rewarding for us as business owners. And sometimes we're, we're leaving money on the table when we're not using the features. So Facebook likes it when you use their features. So we're gonna talk about Facebook stories, that's a, a huge feature. Facebook groups, Facebook video, whether you make the video with your phone and upload it or you make it live, well, you actually go live, and a minute on Facebook low-cost ads. So these are some features when people say, well, if Facebook doesn't let anybody see my content hardly, well, then why should I be on Facebook? Well, because of these features, <laughs> okay? So what is... A Facebook story. So a story can be a photo or a video and even an announcement. Maybe you're having something or you're having, you made a new product or you're having a webinar or something like this. Well, you can put it in a Facebook story. Stories last for 24 hours. And you might think, well, if they only last for 24 hours, what's the big deal? Well, people love them and they will go to Facebook stories because they don't want to miss out because they're going to go away in 24 hours. I mean, of course, you can save them, but uh, people like that, you know, hurry now and it goes away. You can go to your business page and that's where you can see where it will say create a story. And under create, you will see that button. It says create a story. And then so you can go and add a picture, add a, a video, add some words, and it's, it'll say share to your story. And it's just that simple. And it takes a minute or two to, to share to your story. You might think, wow, this is great. You go to your business page, you go where it says create, and then it's going to say create a story. And then you can pull up a picture, pull up whatever and send it and it's there for 24 hours. And um, you might think, well, shoot, I may use a story once a week in your three-day plan. So you definitely want to use Facebook stories and even Instagram stories. Uh, Instagram stories are great for building visibility. So the second feature is Facebook groups. And I tell people don't join too many groups because you want to be active in the group. You want to join, you go to Facebook, you go to your business page, you can type in the search bar, just the name of any kind of group or industry that you might be in. You type in the search bar. For me, I may type in social media and women or whatever. And Facebook is going to, Facebook will send me so many suggestions for groups to join. And you will go through them and maybe pick two to three and join those groups. You don't want to pick too many because you actually need to be active. And maybe start off with joining two good groups. But before you join a group, you want to look through the group first and see when did they last post. You don't want to join a group and the post hadn't been since July of 2020, okay? You want to join groups where... You see people are active. Maybe in the last week there were posts and things like that. That's the kind of group you want to join, a like-minded group for your industry. And then you build community in that group, okay? You may post once a week in the group, always post value. You can answer questions in that group. You can post a motivational saying in that group. You will be seen and found by many people. Just think if it's 2,000 people in the group, and maybe 50 people are active. You had an opportunity to be seen by those people and found. And let's say when you post in the group, you lots of people ask questions in the group. Then answer those questions in the comment. You become an industry leader then. I see people in some of the groups that I'm in and they're like, I want to start a business. Where do I begin? And... You know, I answer the question or how do I, what do I do on Instagram? I do a lot of question answer because I want to position myself as an industry leader. Uh, sometimes I'll just post a motivational saying or a quote in the group and people are like, oh, I like that. Or sometimes I'll post tips in the group. What am I doing? I'm getting found. I'm get, being seen by my ideal audience where somebody may say, Oh, I may need to have a consultation with her, hire her for that. So always add value. Don't overly promote in groups. Now, groups have rules. So before you join a group, make sure you read the rules. Some of them do not let you promote. Some let you promote your 
stuff on Fridays. Okay. I have a Facebook group and you can definitely join that group. And, and it's a, um, it's called female entrepreneurs who mean business. So sorry guys, but guys can join it too. I would love that. But, um, in, in the group, we're just promoting value and building community. And I do allow people to promote their services on Friday. So be sure and pay attention to the rules to the groups that you join. So the third feature is videos and live on Facebook. Okay. People love them. People love videos and Facebook does too. It will really push you out there. And like I say, people say, Marsha, I am definitely afraid of being on camera. And I get it. I do. I get it. I'm like, Ugh, I know. But it is such a great way to build your business. And so I say, you know, make a two or three minute video with your phone. You don't have to go live, you know, use your camera phone, turn it on. If you don't like it, erase it and do it again. But make a two or three minute video, introduce yourself, give some tips or give a Q&A, give a call to action. CTA is a call to action, which you might say, be sure and join us on, on, on our Instagram page or be sure and catch my podcast. That's a C. TA, a call to action. So videos can be short and then you can upload it to, to Facebook. So they can be informative, e even entertaining. It could be a funny thought for the day, you know, something to brighten people's day. So if you feel like, oh, I'm so afraid of being on vi video, do a little practice. And I had to do some practice and I had to get over it. And now I do it all of the time. Practice doing a video. If you don't like it, delete it. Practice until you say, okay, I think I can upload this to, to Facebook and live. So live is actually a feature on Facebook. You actually go to your Facebook, your phone or whatever, and you click the live button and you're actually live. And you're whoever's on Facebook, Facebook will say, Marsha's live right now and they may come to watch you. So you can do the video where you record it first or you could actually go live and then upload the video to Facebook. So these are some features that you really want to try to dive into. And I had a client and I had been working with her a few months and she's like, no, no, I can't do video. I don't like myself on video. Now she is doing such a great job. She, she goes, Marsha, I did a video on LinkedIn and I went to check it. I was like, it is is wonderful and she had her makeup on she was doing a video she's a consultant and she made uh she makes children's books wonderful and now she's like doing one video a week on, on linkedin but it took me a few months to get her there so practice then get to feeling comfortable but adding video will really help you with the algorithm so lock low cost ads the last feature now there are other features but for time's sake i could only mention these for today low cost ads and i think i'm giving a webinar on that and it facebook ads work and you don't have to spend a lot of money you can run an ad for five dollars a day on facebook to grow your reach for instance and i've run a, a few ads to drive traffic to my website and so basically i ran an ad uh it was a five dollar ad for five days so i spent 25 dollars on the ad and I went through all of the steps for creating the ad my goal was to drive traffic to my website and for five dollars a day I did a pretty good job with driving some people Facebook let about 800 people see so the next time I did an ad I did a ten dollar a day ad I hadn't gotten up too high because I want to learn to make sure I'm doing them the best way possible to get the most bang for my buck so I I did a $10 a day ad for four days. So I spent $40 on ad. Facebook let like 1,800 people see. It was wonderful. And what I was doing then was driving people to a webinar that I was doing. Because once they go to the webinar, I get their email. Because email is our best friend. So that's a whole nother webinar. Uh, and, you know, and then you can reach out to people via your email. So you can run an ad for just to try it out for five dollars for five days you can run two ads a month if that's in your budget facebook ads will really put your business growth on steroids <laughs> is what i like to call it and then you can target your ideal client with ad if your ideal client is a woman in in her 30s you can tell facebook if your ideal client is a man 
uh, maybe in his 20s, if your ideal client lives in a certain region, if your ideal client has a certain hobby, you could tell Facebook because Facebook lets you pick behaviors of your clients. Where they where do they go? It's wonderful. So you can target your ideal client. So your ad actually goes out to the people who would buy from you. Unlike when we used to send out uh, postcards when we didn't know where they were going. And it, the ads drive traffic to your website, which is really great. So you want to definitely do that. And you can turn prospects into customers. Social media will get you known. It will get you found. It will brand you. But you get your customers from the website. <laughs> so you learn more about Facebook ads. If you say, well, I'm, I'm a little interested in Facebook ads until Marsha gives a webinar on it. So you can go to YouTube and just learn quite a bit about Facebook ad. You know, you know get your favorite beverage, get, get, maybe get an hour, pull up a YouTube video on how to do Facebook ads, you know, in the meantime. And because they, they are great for growing your business. So these are great features um, that we find for Facebook. And don't forget, they're steady adding. <laughs> and they're adding a new feature that they're thinking about newsletters. I mean, you know, they've added shop shopping links where you can post and people can click and go to your product. There's so many features. So you want to be a magnet for your ideal client with Facebook. And with these features, you actually can be a magnet uh, for your ideal client. And that's the good thing. So at the beginning, when I told you the things, how Facebook is limiting the reach and lowering your ranks and people are like, well, why be on it? Well, this is why you, if you're using these features and you're using Facebook correctly and you're being consistent, this is what you can do. You can be a magnet for your ideal client. I think we want that, right? So here's a short activity. If you want to um, participate in a little activity, so how can you make a Facebook post in like five minutes? It's really easy for me. I do a lot of pre-planning and because I post everywhere and every day because that's my business. I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Pinterest. Um, and I do have an assistant to help me because I can't do it all myself, but I do a lot of pre-planning. I don't just wake up and think, well, what will I post today? So I pre-plan on the weekends for what my content will be the upcoming week. And for this week, we're doing a lot of content on Jumpstart Your Social Media because things have changed and some people have kind of, you know, been busy with things. So my theme for this week is Jumpstart Your Social Media in 30 days. And uh, so be sure and 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 check me out because I will be talking a lot about that. And in my pre-planning, it may be a Saturday and I'm I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do this day. This is what I'm going to do Wednesday. I'm going to make a video on this. And I do all of my pre-planning the week before. And that's a really good um, uh, routine to get into pre-planning. So for now, a little activity. So you can write down three tips that would benefit people about your industry. So if you're participating in the activity, write down number one, write a tip, number two, number three, from your industry, okay? Three things that will benefit someone or give them some information or help them with their lives or help them understand your business, all right? And then you would decide on an image that would match that post of content. So you can draw a little picture of an image. You might say, okay, well, I'm going to put a picture of a computer in there or whatever. And don't forget, you can get images copyright free from Unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H. And I like Unsplash because photographers like me, professional photographers, we send our images to Unsplash and we allow people to use them free. Whereas Unsplash gives us, um, you know, boost us out for credit. So that's what we get for putting them up there. So, you know, in, in your uh, real post, you would actually put an image. But for the activity, you could just draw a little picture of what would match um, your three tips. And then you would jot down two hashtags from your industry for your post. Now, remember, you want to make a hashtag for your business name, okay? Hashtag whatever your business name is and because it will become trending. Um, I have one, hashtag Marsha Lynn Hudson, hashtag Marsha the Headshot Guru, a lot of hashtags with my business name. But then you may do an industry hashtag. I could put a hashtag small business owner. So you want to write down three tips, um, draw a little image, jot down two hashtags, and there you have it. That is a post. You see how simple it is? Then you open up your Facebook, 
and you insert those and that is a pose. And well, I, t I tell my clients all the time, if you don't have 20 to 30 minutes, three days a week, do you really want to build your business? You see? And they're like, I want to build my business. Well, do you really want to build your business? Because you want to do this and make sure you're you're consistent with that. So hopefully you did the activity. So a good posting schedule. So a good posting schedule within your three days is to pick your three days. Each post, like we talked about, will have an image content hashtags. Check your insights on, and engagement. Now, insights are going to be um, in your Facebook. You will find that. And it tells you what's going on on your page. You know, if, you know how many comments, how many likes. It tells you, so if you see your insights, it's like, well, I'm not getting much engagement and I'm posting Monday at nine. You might want to change it up. You see, so your insights tell you how to improve what's going on. And you always want to respond to comments within 24 hours. The algorithms like they like that when you respond. So what if I saw a post on your Facebook page and I commented and I was like, wow, this is a great post. I like this. You should respond within 24 hours, even if you just said thank you. OK, that tells the algorithm that you are being active with your followers. That's huge. So go through, make sure when people comment, respond in within 24 hours, okay? So 2.7 billion people are on Facebook. So the question is, will you be found? Uh, I don't need the 2.7 billion people. Facebook won't let that many people see. But I'd love to be seen by 100 or 200 all of the time, uh, even 50. The first step is just to show up. And sometimes we are, we're busy and life happens and things are going on and we have this going on. But Facebook and social media is not an option for small business owners anymore. It's just not, I think I will be on social media. If you want to grow, it's not an option. So the first step is to show up. And that's why I teach people the how to do it without being overwhelmed and confused. Three days a week, 30 minutes, those three days, anybody can do that. And I also tell people, if you feel like you can't do it, hire, hire a student, hire someone. You need a Facebook or you need a social media presence. Wherever your audience may be, you want to be there. Whether they're on LinkedIn or Pinterest or Twitter or Instagram, you need to be online because everybody everybody's online. Many businesses have moved online. People had to move from business to home and people are online. And so the first step is to actually show up. <laughs> So, yeah, you're getting to the end. All you have to do is decide. And I know with me, I have a lot of things I love to do. I'm starting a new series for spring, my Jump Starts series, my new thing, Jump Start Your Business. But all we have to do is decide. Decide, this is what I'm going to do now. We don't want to wait and we look up and it's two months have gone by, three months have gone by, six months have gone by. Now is the time to decide. And I always tell people, it's a lot you can do in a seven-day period. Make your plans, get them down, and get them going, right? Yay, you made it to the end. So if you're ready, are you ready to jumpstart your social media strategy in 30 days? If so, drop me an email and I can give you some more information on that because for time's sake, I couldn't really go into it. But a lot of people are, they're ready. So drop me an email, say, hey, Marsha, I am interested in finding out more about how to do that. Now, I did promise you some freebies if you stay to the end. Yay, and I uploaded those freebies to my website. So you can get a free workbook, uh, action plan workbook and a free planner. That planner is normally $11, but I made it free today and I'm going to change it back, but I made it free today. If you go to marshallandhudson.com, any, if you click any resource that says download here, download free resource here, it will take you to the workbook and the planner. So that's kind of hidden for you. So you can go over there and get it for free. And so when you click on my site, um, any link that says download free resources, you can find the workbook and download it for free. And you can find it's a great planner, a social media planner 
And that's $11. You can download that for free today. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. I was so excited to bring this uh, training to you. I hope you got a lot of great tips and ideas and you're ready to, to grow your business on, on Facebook. So we are ready for Q&A if you guys have any questions for us. And don't forget um, that the um, SBDC North Texas, you can go to their website. You can see uh, lots more information on other trainings from other um, great presenters. And you can also find out how to do one-on-one -on -one social media with me also. So we are ready. Thank you for joining me. Wonderful, Marcia. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, we have a a couple of questions. I, I think you addressed this, but I'd like for you to expand on it. Okay. Uh, what is a good length of time for a video on Facebook? I know that I go through Facebook and I see a cute little puppy <laughs> or a sweet little baby and I get buried into like a 20 minute video <laughs> and, and I never stay for the whole thing. I always just keep scrolling. I know it's very addictive. Well, for, that's a great question for, because people ask a lot for people put videos up every day, different lengths and just, yeah, of the puppies and things. But for us as a business owner, um, we do want people to watch the whole thing. So two to three minutes is good because you do want people to watch it to the end. Uh, sometimes 15 minutes, 20 is too long. Now we do have the fun videos and the puppies and the cute videos. But when we're talking about for our business, trying to grow our business, our brand, put ourselves out there, you want to think of videos that are, I call it snackable content, snackable kind of video content. And so in three minutes, you can give some good snackable content. For instance, if you decide I want to do a three minute video with your phone and you tape it, you don't have to go live first, you tape it, you want to introduce yourself you know, on the video, uh, you, you might say, well, I usually say, well, hello, awesome business owner. This is Marshall Lynn Hudson. And today I want to talk about how to jumpstart your social media in 30 days. Okay. That's my new thing I'm working on. And then I may give two or three tips on doing that in the video. And then at the end of that video, I might say, well, if you want more information, head over to whatever. Now, if you're trying to send people to your new podcast, you want to do that at the end of the video. If you're trying to send people to your YouTube channel, you want to do that at the video. So according to research to keep people there, because we do just scroll and move, the two to three minute is a good time frame for your business. Now, but the, the cute ones with the kittens and the babies, that's a, you know, that's usually on your friend page, but we're mm -hmm. talking about, you know, for your business. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, is Facebook the only platform that you know of that offers a scheduling tool? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, no. Oh, my gosh. That's a great question. So when I'm teaching Facebook and Instagram, when I'm training on those two, I usually talk about Creator Studio because that those are the two that you could go in and easily auto schedule. But I like later it's called later and you can Google it later if you want, but it's L A T E R dot com. Maybe it's dot com or Google later and later will allow you to auto schedule for free. Yeah. Check it out. It's really good. Uh, and you can do Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter but not LinkedIn. So you can auto schedule all four of those on later for free. Now they do have a paid version where you can do other things. So the reason why I said Facebook creator studios, is because you can't do Twitter and Pinterest on there. But if you're doing Twitter and Pinterest, you could do it on later. Now, if you want, if you have LinkedIn, you have to go to buffer. Now buffer will let you do all of them. Buffer will let you do LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you may pay a little, maybe 19 something. Hootsuite is good, but they're a little bit more expensive. So the three that I like to recommend if you're on a budget are Facebook Creator Studio for Facebook and Instagram. Later, if you're doing Facebook, Instagram, or in Pinterest and Twitter, and Buffer if you want to add LinkedIn. Okay. 
So those are uh, three. I don't know if Buffer has a free one, but it's not that expensive. It's worth it. I think it may be $15 a month or something. Okay, great, great. Uh, okay, Brett asks, um, so basically Facebook as well as uh, all other social media now are fighting for control of your valuable time. <laughs> they want you to stay on their platform. So would it be okay to share links to other articles or videos that are posted to other Facebook profiles? And what is the best way to push people to your website since Facebook is fighting to prevent that? <laughs> oh, okay. That's a value pack question. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a value pack. So number one, you, you want to keep, people on your platform. So I don't use links that send people to my other uh, Facebook platform. I don't know if it's good or not. It's a good thing to research. But for me, when I go to my Facebook uh, page and I have a few, I keep I keep people on that page. I don't want to send them. I could send them to another Facebook page, but I want to keep them on that page because that's the page I'm trying to boost visibility. I don't want to send them off. Um, yes, they are buying for our time, but quality um, is better than quantity. So when I'm on Facebook or when you're on Facebook, um, you may be on there, but you want to make sure your content keeps people on, on that platform. So that's why, and, and keeping them on that platform um, is, is going to help you grow your business. Now, you don't, you don't have to be on Facebook all of the time, every day. And that's a, a myth. When people think, oh, okay, they, we, we need to be on there. You know, they, they want our time. They do want the your time. But you don't have to be on there all of the time to grow your business. I've seen it in my own business. I've seen it in influencers' businesses. So don't let Facebook take up all of your time. Now, as far as using an article to send it to another Facebook page or platform, I don't do that. So I don't know if it's a good thing, but I don't. For instance, I have a Facebook page, a social media page. Then I have a Facebook group. I don't send people from one to another. Then I have a Facebook headshot page. I focus on the page that I'm on because I'm trying to grow that. You see? So I don't know if I answered the question. It was a lot to that question. Brett, did that answer your question? Did you did you nod and and I didn't say okay <laughs> his question okay Roger he can he he can try it though he can he can try to see how insights before I'm sorry but insights will tell you if that works well so if you have a link and you want to send them to another Facebook platform see if it works on your insights then you'll know if if it's working well for you. Uh, Roger is asking, uh, when responding to posts, should you try to re-engage with the person or simply comment back? Oh, that's a great question. It's up to you. Sometimes when I'm responding, that's a great question. Sometimes when I'm responding, I'm, I just want to make sure I respond within the 24 hours because that helps with the algorithm. I might say, somebody might say great tips because I give a lot of tips in my social media, my Instagram, everything. And I may go and say, thanks. I'm not going to try to re-engage. But when I'm trying to re-engage, I may go over and say, oh, thanks for uh, liking my post. What else do you think you may see?